And welcome back, survivors. We are continuing on with Long Dark, Far Territories, Live and Dying. And we are uh, approximately at one week into our exploration of uh, this Forsaken airfield. If you'll remember, I made it to the Island Cottage, and though I've tried to explore a little bit, I haven't gotten much far past that. We are continuing to try to explore the new materials and territory of this expansion pack. And let's go ahead and put a little light on the situation. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> Every time that line comes up, I do laugh very strongly because Bear Grylls is an idiot. You'll have to forgive me. I know a little bit about uh, wilderness survival and such, and yeah... Don't drink your pee. Just don't. It's just going to make you dehydrate faster. Moreover to the point here, we'll go ahead and pick up my tin can. My apologies for the break, so to speak. Holidays got me as well as uh, in real life. I also have uh, some uh, birthdays and such of family members that, quite frankly, they deserve to be celebrated. Take a quick look at my supplies. If memory serves... Okay, I got a ton of tin cans. Weight's not a problem. There we are. I got a bow and three arrows. So we're okay with that. We even have some food. What? We have food in the long dark? You're kidding me. What the heck? I'm surprised at that. So, we are going to go ahead and... Uh, golly, what time is it? You know what? We are going to go ahead. I'm not completely rested yet, so we're going to turn my lamp off to save the fuel. And we are going to go ahead and sleep in. Give it at least another hour, because there's no sense in us going outside getting cold, when I don't think we have the uh, best uh, clothing to speak of right now. Do we have some more light to deal with now? Six days, 14 hours... No, nope, 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 nope. Come on. Give the audience some decent weather to do this. Don't make me have to endure a blizzard day here. Sounds like they may want to try and do that to me, and I'm not stupid. Okay, that's sounding better. What do we got now? Oh, do we have fog? Ugh. Okay. I am hesitant to really leave too far. Let's go ahead and pick up the stuff that I was curing, a couple of guts, working on the process as a whole. Okay, so that's a decent simple parka. Let's double check my clothing here. We've got the ex expedition parka, I remember picking that up in the cave. Decent parka there. How many of these do I have? I have two. Okay, so that can be dropped. Trim my weight here while we can. I like to have a spare set of mittens just in case. Okay, we're looking to be about as good as we can at this moment. And I do not want to spend all day in the cabin. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And see what we can do to uh, find some new territory here. What do we got over here? I tell you, another saw right there. I've been finding more tools on this map than pretty much any other map that I have encountered, so I just find that ridiculous. Um, I went down sort of the... <laughs> I think I walked on the rail there. What am I, a skateboarder? <clears throat> Alright. I went the uh, other direction uh, off the island to uh, the uh, ice hut in the previous episode. So I'm going to go ahead and down this uh, route, which is the way that I came, to kind of further explore around the edge of the uh, lake. Because if I do that and try to keep the lake as a reference point, I think that'll help cut down on the odds of me getting lost in this fog. And maybe if we're very lucky then, the uh, sun will burn the fog off for the day. So that's going to be the game plan that we're operating under 
while we're here feel free to drop a comment a uh, question uh, down in the comments below i love to be interactive for you here so we're going to go ahead and uh, try to continue on with more progress i do believe i've got food with me i know i've got tin cans so water's not a problem so i'm not going to worry about cattails at this moment and we're going to go ahead and continue to try to make some distance to see what else is on this map Again, I'm trying to uh, save my first uh, hand experiences for this live stream uh, playthrough. Uh, so I'm not doing a ton of checking out other videos. So I don't necessarily know a lot of what's going on here. So at this point in the game, for those of you who continue to play through its drop time, you may actually know more about this map than I do, which is fine. I'm not going to worry about that in any way, shape or form. Because so long as I can uh, play some new Long Dark to me and continue to have some fun surviving the quiet apocalypse, then we'll call it a good day. And unfortunately, <laughs> surviving the quiet apocalypse is becoming less and less a video game, it feels like, every day. I feel like that's sort of the uh, river access that I went into previously. So we'll go ahead and take the road that I did not travel beforehand. So... I will let you know that uh, part of the reason sometimes it's a little difficult for me to continue on with um, long dark footage uh, during the winter months is because I live in the Midwest and we have real life winter here. Thirsty. <laughs> in fact, I'm usually a scoutmaster and uh, tonight's very special broadcast of the long dark is happening because I am... <laughs> <laughs> our uh, service got canceled tonight due to um, inclement weather freezing rain and everything which is fine I get it for safety reasons but when you're dealing with real life winter of uh, freezing rain a couple weeks back where I saw we had wind chills of in real life minus 30 so when that's when you're living through and then you're going through the experience of uh, uh, trying to play a game in which you have that kind of wind chill and weather as well it's a hard sell sometimes it really is <laughs> so we all do what we can on this oh man so okay we've got a something up here i don't know how much old man's beard i've got or not but i know that you know i'm starting over with this map here so waste not want not as the survival adage goes now, Old Man's Beard feel thick. is something I would like to see added as a Tinder option. I, you know, we have paper, and I know you can chop sticks, but I really feel like that should be also available to be used to help with fire starting, especially in the lower levels of fire starting when you actually need Tinder. Just sort of a little uh, thought, little wish list. Speaking of wish lists, I'm actually contemplating making a special video of that. We all uh, saw my top 10 tips video for uh, surviving the long dark, uh, 200 days plus. I am contemplating, since uh, Henderlin is opening up new things, putting together a top 10 wish list of what kind of things I would like to see happen in the long dark future. Would any of you be interested in that kind of a video? Please comment down below. I would honestly love to know because you know how I am. I would like to give the people what they want. How's my weight level? 62. I'm wearing the clothes. I have the clothes that I want. I could drop that. So cold. I'm getting a little bit low on calories too here. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Does this seem to have a way off? No, but let's try to see if we can find something off of the shelter of this uh, uh, lake here. Now, this is one of the things I've noticed. Uh, sometimes uh, people ask you uh, if uh, you do anything differently as a content creator. Yeah, this is one of those examples. Usually when I was playing um, Crusade, and the whole point is to try and live as long as possible. Uh, I play very cautiously. 
which means I could play very slow because at the end of the day, I could edit that footage out. With this being a live stream, I'm trying to create good footage for you for your enjoyment, which means I need to, I sometimes feel, do the riskier stuff of go ahead and explore while the fog's up to try to make things interesting for you. Because the last thing I want to do is uh, be boring. So that's one of the major differences that I personally have found between live streaming and then uh, content editing. What do we got here? Uh, I feel like there is a something here, but I don't know what it is, so I admit to nerves. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and uh, keep exploring it. If I can. Come on, let me Billy Goat. Let me Billy Goat. You're not going to let me Billy Goat. Okay, fine. Yep. Ow. Ugh. It's my hand, so we will try to see how long I can go without that. And that's my ankle. Oh, there we are. Shaky cam. Let's go ahead and start picking up sticks. Oh, wow. Blurry vision. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the foot at least. And since I'm paused anyway, let's go ahead and fix the wrist. I'm not going to worry about the uh, pain and the whole glossy vision on the edges. I've never worried about that. Half the time I never even pick up the uh, pain-killing pills. But I do want to try and get off of the ice and see if I can find a place to warm up here. I'm going to need to probably chug down a tea here, I think. And I get a vibe like there is a something up here that I want to see if I can get myself to. And I've got plenty of bandages, so I'm willing to invest a few sprains to get me to it. And I'm walking on the grass, and the grass is usually a good thing to walk on. So what do we got here? Okay. I think we've gotten over the first hurdle. Means practically nothing, I know, but let's just kind of keep working through this. All right. We're coming in. Got some more grass to walk on. And generally, grass is a good indication that you can walk on that safely without uh, busting anything. So let's kind of keep with this. Firewood. If there's any kind of cave or shelter here, I will definitely shelter up and warm up for a little bit. And I can hear wolves in the background, which is always a great thing to hear. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Your chew toy's walking around. Yeah, I know. Don't care. At least now I've got a bow to make it a halfway fighting chance. We got anything around here? Is that a... Is that a road? Is that a limb or a rock? That's a rock. It wants to rock. Okay. Okay. Come on on to a bit of a water area. I feel like this is a location spawn. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed it seems like they've got taller stumps here because they seem to be reaching up for my mushrooms a lot more. And I'm almost always going to go for the mushrooms because those teas serve such a multi-purpose thing. What do we got here? I feel like there's a something going on here and I'm just waiting for the fog to kind of lift to give me an indication of what that something is <laughs> cliff's edge okay what do we got okay before I go down let me kind of go up just a little bit here this is me trying to navigate lost in the woods Down is easy. You can get away billy goating down a lot easier than you can billy going up. Okay. Don't think I'm going to get any further that way. What do we got here? Okay. I'm on a cliff face. 
I could probably, okay, this would be the safer option. And I always feel like I'd be doing the real fast run to keep your feet and keep yourself vertical. What do we got here? Come on, Henderlin, give me something. I'll settle for a cave. I've shored up in caves very often. This is rock. This fog is driving me absolutely crazy, but it's what we got. Pick up some more of these uh, sticks here. Today, on Live and Dying, Commander Tom wanders through the endless winter of the quiet apocalypse in search of liter- Hey! Road! Okay. Roads usually live to lead to something somewhere. So what do we got here? Okay, road turns. That's fine. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, so don't run. Let's just walk the road here. But I've never encountered in a map on L Long Dark where a road didn't lead to a something. Okay, and there's more. That's the uh, wall there. Okay, we're getting close to some level of uh, civilization. Obviously, I don't expect people or anything. But some sort of shelter, some sort of structure... Something interesting to explore. So, let's check it out then. Okay. There seems to be decent wood fall around, so I think we'll be okay with that. Are we seeing anything? Did they turn up the thickness of fog, I wonder? <laughs> Alrighty. It looks like we got a pointer tree or two kind of uh, giving us some indications. To stay onto the road. And that's fine. I can live with that. No, I didn't mean that. I meant that. And it's still like 10 in the morning, so it's not even midday. I think pretty quick here, we're going to want to warm up tea if we don't get some sort of uh, escape from the wind as is. But we'll play that as it lies. I'm going to give this a shot as much as we can. Alright, I'm hearing wolves. Am I seeing anything yet? Okay. Are you a pointer tree? Okay. This definitely feels like it's pathish. Oh, hey, hey. Did I walk around in a circle? No. Dude, this is a different cabin. Sweet. I will take that in a heartbeat. Absolutely yes. Okay, what do we got here? Let's check this out. Uh, this is Mindful Cabin. Okay, it is a totally different cabin. Okay, I get to live then. If I can actually get onto the actual... There we are, right? Oh yeah, this is a much different cabin. Excellent. Okay, let's check our stats real quick. How am I? My hypothermic risk is pretty hard. Uh, can I take a nap? Chair. Uh, anything of use in here? In handy. Simple parka, sports vest. Okay, so we've got some place that we can uh, light a fire at. Excellent. Let's drop the sticks we've got. Okay. Spray can. You know what? I'm kind of concerned about my... Uh, temperature here is there a bed up here oh perfect let's go ahead and take a warm-up nap just to get our temperatures in a better situation and then let's actually explore this thing okay excellent all right now let's take a look at our weight have i i feel like i forgot my bedroll but I'll deal with that at a later time. Right now I'm still doing okay. 
All right, what do we got here for our trouble? Okay, we got paper, cardboard box, not gonna worry about that. Alrighty. I like kind of the universal system they've set up here of drains in the metal pails so you can drain out. Very, oh ho! Can always use more food. We're eating tonight, fellas. Absolutely. Okay. And food there. Cooking pot. Let's go ahead and put you where you belong. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Take a search through here. More food. We're going to be sitting pretty. Anything else up here? Tin of sardines. Okay. Oh my gosh, I could have a bath if I want. <laughs> it would be an awful lot of like heating of water to get a bath, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the condition of these boots? Could end up being useful. They're ragged, not going to worry about that. Jeans, they're ragged. All right, so this is a pretty... I will take the water. Thank you. All righty. What, insomniarist? Do we get glimmer fog going on here now? Can I even fall? Can I even? I can't map during low visibility here. But do we do we have glimmer fog going on? Okay, yeah, we got glimmer fog. Okay. Ah, okay. And with the fog like it is, I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. What do we got? Where are you? Come on. There we are. Okay. Well, I just took a warm-up nap, so... Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's kill some time. Alrighty. Nope. Let's actually use the knife. Uh, check my calories. We should be good. I'm going to want to uh, eat a fair bit tonight, but that's no big deal. We still got glimmer fog going on? Yeah. Okay. Let's, sit. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Let's get the food dropped. Okay, and then let's go ahead and drop the furs. I don't know how much they're carried inside these buildings that are interior, but they are still outside. But I'm not supremely worried about it, because I know that even caves you can cure uh, things in. So, I don't know. I'll have to take a look, do a little homework. I'm still in the exploratory phase of things here. I don't really care about the... Scrap metal I picked up. Scrap metal seems to be pretty easy to acquire. All right, let's take a walk around. I am getting hungry. 